Today I want to talk to men. You know, so many times we put our emphasis on talking to women, women behave like this, women treat men like this, women, women, women. Today, men, I want to speak to you. Now, why should you pregnant a woman if you're not in position to take care of children? We are seeing a lot of women in the society today, on internet, everywhere. You find she has three children, she has two, she has one, they have five. But these children do not have a father. And it's not that their father died, their father is alive, but enjoying life somewhere else. That is a very shameful thing. Now, it is not good for a man to pregnant women, 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 if you are not ready to take the responsibility of the children. And we have seen someone being arrested because he was not able to care for the children. And so many people came out and abused the woman. The woman is desperate. The woman is what? But in reality, she was right. Why should you sleep with her, pregnant her, a child after a child, child after child, and you don't want even to buy a bowl of soap? You are outside working, spending one money on other women that do not even have your children. If you are not ready to marry that person, don't always sleep with them. Why should we be blaming women for sleeping with men when they are not ready? Even men should not when they are not ready. The Bible says when you look at 1 Corinthians, this is the word of God. And in verse in chapter 7 and in verse 1, it says, Now concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. It is good for a man not to touch a woman if he's not ready to marry that woman. It is not good. You know, don't think women are just there for you to just go put your thing and deposit children that you are not going to take care of. It is a sin before God because he says that if any of you cannot take care of his own, especially those of his own household, he is once worse than an infidel. He says, you are so bad, like, more than that person who does not know God. And you find that even Christian men, the so-called men of God, have abandoned their children in the hands of women because they saw another woman that had a different shape. They saw another woman that had a different shape of a head, shape of a V, shape of, you know, they were lured into fornication with another woman and you forsake your own God-given children. Now, these children are not just things that we should abandon, things that we just throw down. Children are a heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward, according to the Bible. Now, if you do not care for those children, God is going to hold you accountable for that God has trusted you with those children. He has given you blessings, but you are busy throwing them up and down. You don't care whether the child is sick. Even women reach an extent of begging. Please, the child is sick. You don't even want to pick their phone calls. Why should you go sleeping with women when you're not able, when you're not willing to take care of them? It's very sad. Even if you feel you're a big man in the society, even if you feel you're so respected and known, maybe you're a popular person, you have fame, you're famous. If you fail to take care of your own, you're just as useless as someone who does not know God. Why should your children live like people who don't have parents, yet you're alive? You get money. You are spending it on other things. Why? Dear men, this video is not to attack you, but to encourage you to think about the children you have abandoned with their mom. To think about the many children you have produced in different women and you don't want to hear about them. God can help you if you turn back to him. Please take care of your children.